Is this your first YouTube video that you're participating in? He's done a, a couple of interviews, but he's like some great exclusive. Very nervous, very nervous. Don't worry, if we uh, mess Do, uh, something up, we're okay, just we'll gonna start over. Out. This is supposed to be laid back and natural. Okay. So, yes. All right, guys, so I am right now with Mr. Hugo. He is the owner of this hotel and this entire complex that I'm reviewing. It is my honor to have you today on this interview. So, I would like to ask you, what is this whole idea behind the complex, the hotel, the restaurants, waters, wine, and um, the energy drinks? Because there's such a huge variety that you offer, and I think it's so interesting because not many people do this. I believe in branding. It doesn't mean that you're making more profit because it's your own water or, or more profit is because you have your own wine. Branding is about having the names of this. It's more easy that people could see it. Like what is Hugo's, why water Hugo's, wine Hugo's, energy drink uh, Hugo's. The people, when they see it, you know, it's, you can build your name much quicker when you're doing these things. Right. Because they're everywhere. So that's what I believe in these things as well. And regarding the hotels, I started uh, with clubbing. I started 31 years ago here in Malta, always in this area, St. Julian's area, Portugal area. Started with clubs and bars. And I started maybe about 14 years ago, 15 years ago, like changing into um, food, bars and restaurants. So before I didn't have restaurants, only bars. The area was very quiet here and I was uh, one of the best area for entertainment. Yeah, it's a party neighborhood, definitely. And now this last uh, four years, I started going in accommodation hotels. Mm -hmm. I opened the first one, the first hotel before the room. That's where you're staying. I hope you like it. Oh, the room <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> two, actually. I stayed at two. At two rooms, two different mm -hmm. rooms. Yes, uh, I stayed at one with the mirror above uh, my bed. And, mm -hmm. and I'm staying at a suite with a round bed and a huge terrace. Yeah. Yes. Well, it, even bad that they move, you know? Did you show her the, the bed that moves, no? No, I didn't <laughs> see. I didn't see the beds that move. <laughs> They're fine. Also, now I'm opening this this one. It's 170 rooms. It is connected with the other one. We're doing this uh, very modern rooms, very different rooms, like uh, from one to another. A lot of one with jacuzzis inside. Mm. It's nice. It's modern, sexy, you know? It's something different than other hotels. Exquisite, sensual. Yes. So I've noticed that the theme of this hotel is gold and black. I think it's something really unique and exquisite and gives this hotel such an elegant vibe. Uh, favorite colors at the moment. Yes? <laughs> black and gold is my favorite. And I believe they remain. Sometimes when you design something with coloring, after a few years, you need to change it. But when you go natural colors or like mm -hmm. black as well. It looks very classy. Classy, gives certain style and I believe it remains even the next 10, 15 years. It's always remained there, I believe. True, true. We're opening four, actually. Wow! Four, four in, uh, uh, in about <laughs> three weeks' time. Oh my god, that's the a lot of pressure. <laughs> the the friends, we're opening one as a seafood and cocktail bar. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're opening a fine dining restaurant in the hotel. We're opening a kiosk but, uh, with uh, Mexican food. Really, really nice kiosk. It's just yeah. And we're opening right over there a new restaurant with views serving the pool area and also in the evening. The name is going to be Avocado. Oh, that's a cool idea. I wanted to ask you, where do you get your ideas? I hear that you come up with all the designs and all the visions of all the places are yours. Hugo, he gets his, a lot of his ideas from, from his travels. Mm -hmm. I go to a lot of uh, fairs. I go three or four times a year. And they go in Milan and I go to Paris because that's where the fairs are. And he sees, have a vision as well, he sees, like we don't know what's happening, right? He knows what's happening and he knows, he has a design in his head. You buy things, lose furniture, I take ideas from that. Then again, abroad and also I check, or like every designer, more or less, you mm -hmm. know. But then you do it a bit different than, than others. And combining it together. We don't know what he's going to do with them, but he's already seeing it. Uh -huh. That's how I do it. Even quirky things. Like the dog you put down yeah, the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the giraffe will have it outside. And different design, different style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He sees it and he, he puts it together in his mind. They don't know what's going to happen. Even, not just in the hotel, huh? 
everywhere. Everywhere. I've noticed that every place is different. Every place has a completely different vibe. And because of the variety of restaurants that you offer, everybody can find something for themselves because you have a more casual vibe with some, different. a more elegant one, clubs, everything. And that's the idea. I mean, I have a few places in the area here. So the idea is to attract more people coming in the area. You have to do different things, different restaurants, different concepts. Because, uh, so you get more people coming for this, for this, you know. So this is how it works. You try to do something different than the other one. Right. You get more choice for me. So because you offer such a huge variety, you target everybody's taste and you are such a trendsetter that people, so many people get inspired by your work and so many places get inspired to do similar things, I've noticed. It creates inspiration for other places. Ideas. Huh. You know them? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. A lot of people, they copy them. But how do you I, feel I about get this? it through. I think I'll be happy, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the more they open, the, the better even for the country, you know. It's more for tourists. We depend on tourists this country mm -hmm. a lot. So the more they open, the more things happening in, in the country is better. It gets stronger. I can take a lot of ideas about the food in, in London. Sure. London is, I think, it's the best place uh, to take some ideas from them. But there's always new thing coming up, and new things. It's always true. Sure, it moves there. really fast. It moves fast, very fast. Very fast. Thank you, Mr. Hugo, for this interview. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you for coming here as well. Thank you. It was an honor. I had an amazing time, and I hope you enjoy this video. And I will send it to you, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> it's a wrap. All right, we have it. Thank you so 